care what, what time is it? It's wine time already. One of my favorite times of day. So, this evening for wine time, I have two selections of wines. We have a Malbec, which is a 2010. And interestingly, this wine was originally, oh, and here's Tuxedo, who would like to be part of wine time as well. Um, <laughs> he doesn't really ask before he gets on the couch. But we have two wines to choose from. We have a Malbec, which is from Argentina, and pretty well discovered these days, the last few years, as a delicious, reasonably priced red wine. And then we have a nice Toscana wine, so a wine from Tuscany. Um, and this is called Saracosa, and this one's an Opie. I like to set a tone for wine time, so I have some nice... This evening, I have some nice olives, a delicious, rich cheddar cheese, which is always in my refrigerator, Cabot cheddar cheese goes well with any wine, frankly, or anything, and a nice Stella Gorgonzola. Now, the advantage of the Stella Gorgonzola is that you can say, whenever you want, Stella! It's not quite as beautifully rendered as Marlon Brando, um, who had that blood-curdling scream of Stella in the streetcar. Hey, Stella! but as yet I still have the iPhone 3G I don't have the upgrade so I don't have the flash but you get the idea I've set the scene with a lovely fire I have a pile of Christmas cards to start and I'd like a glass of wine with my cheese the Brigham galleries will be starting wine auctions I've just spent a couple weeks with Dennis Toner in France in the heart of Burgundy source so quick I have to train my palate so I figured that we could do this together and learn alongside each other as we get ready for the important ones that will be coming through the auction because I should know what I'm talking about right the advantage of wines these days is that they're readily accessible you can go into any wine store um, they're in everybody loves talking about wines um, some are not expensive. You get some great wines that were in Wine Spectator for $12, or you can spend upwards of whatever you want to buy really collectible bottles for a fancy occasion. Um, I had two nice bottles, and I picked the one that sounded like it was a little bit lighter. Uh, the other wine recommended having it with a sausage dish, and so I figured, all right, I'll go with a little bit of a lighter wine so it'll complement the chicken. So one of the first steps is to look for color. You know, use all our senses, right? That's what they say. So we're going to figure this out together. It's beautiful, deep, rich color. So hold it up to the light or just something white behind it. It's like a nice, deep, purpley, reddy, burgundy kind of color, but more purpley. Smell it. And it smells good. Spicy. Berries. So I smell it a few times and it changes as, as you keep it open for a while. You know, they say it opens up. Um, so actually wines in the beginning of a meal or, you know, if you have a glass of wine poured before the food is served will taste totally different than half an hour if you can let it wait that long in your glass as it's had a chance um, to be exposed to the air. What I've learned is to take a little air into your mouth. I try and do it subtly so I'm not gargling, but... You can tell it tastes a little different. Just have a sip, right? No extra air or... Somehow it tastes fuller. It rolls around the mouth. Malbec this was is originally Malbec. from the Madoc region in Bordeaux. Play with it. Uh, we'll learn together. And now I have a fire.
entire setup and my Christmas cards and I'm gonna enjoy this nice glass of wine. Cheers. Cheers. And you should start wine time because it's probably five o'clock somewhere.